What's up, Rockstars and Labs? It's Josh Cooley coming to you from Studio J. Roy with my stocking cap on. <laughs> and um, uh, I just rolled out of bed. It's like 5.30 on Sunday morning. My eyes are still tired. Can you tell? Um, but um, it's like 5.30 on Sunday. We didn't paint last night. I thought we were going to paint last night, and we didn't. And so I am up early because I need to do some stuff around the house before... My mom and maybe my dad goes and helps me. But we are finishing up the painting today at Rockstars and Lambs and hopefully putting stuff together. And tomorrow we're up doing stuff and we'll, we'll see. I'll have more of an opening date in my head. I want to say that Rockstars and Lambs will probably open April 2nd, 2012. And um, that's a Tuesday. Um, I'll probably be going crazy ape shit on April 1st. Finishing up with color orders and things like that, but I do have some things to do between Now and then and I have a whole week to do it And so it means that it's gonna be a lot of no rest a lot of nothing We've been in there almost not every night But we've been in there at least every other night doing things and it's kind of crazy because even when you're not in the space painting you're out buying stuff and I don't think people understand how exhausting that really really is to be um, working, 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 when I mean, you're self-employed already, you're like working just to pay for the furniture, working just to make the rent, and it's a lot, I mean, it's a lot, so right now, the biggest things that I have in my life are getting up early like this on a Sunday, or getting up early, um, when I'm not dead freaking tired, and, and doing yoga or meditating or reading and really, really catching up. I haven't even had time to read the New York Times in the last month. And that makes me really angry because it's something I look forward to. I haven't had a chance to go through sales papers on Sunday um, and look at, like, what's on sale. I like to know what's on sale at Target and Kmart and and still look at Macy's and Nordstrom's and stuff like that on place online orders. And I haven't been able to do that in the last, like, four months and what's really cool at the very end of this little journey is that we're not completely done yet because next Sunday I'm going to be running around getting towels for the salon and I'm still not done when I do my soft open. I still have to get a computer for the salon and I still have to get a washer and a dryer for the salon. But I have to open the salon because we're paying for it. So this is now uh, three, almost four months of paying for um, the salon every month and it hasn't been open. So it's about time. And um, as much as I'm going to miss Arlene, she knows that I need to. And she's been in my position before where she's had a space and has had to pay for the space before she's even gotten in the space. And so I just can't deal with the fact that I have all this money leaving me and that I don't have any return on the investment yet. So starting, yeah, April 2nd, we'll have a return on the investment. And i will be really, really excited. Um, in other news, uh, I had a comment made the other day that Somebody has said they didn't see Hot Mess for a while. And it's true, you haven't seen Hot Mess for a while. I have not ended Hot Mess. Um, the Chieftain and Beyond the Fold have not ended the mess, uh, the mess, the Hot Mess. Um, hot Mess has just been quiet ever since my dismissal from, um, from my last salon. And it's because I think I needed this four or five weeks to breathe. And I really, it's crazy because this summer we're really going to hit the event circuit hard. I'm going to get involved in a lot of public things, and I haven't told any of you what those public things are. I don't want to tell you yet. Uh, some, but Hot Mess is coming back. Um, Fashion Disasters, I believe, made a debut, but I haven't even... That's how it disconnected I am. I don't even know what's running with my name on it right now. Um, there are no current advertisements in um, the Southern Colorado area because the salon's not open for me to promote yet. Um, so if I seem like I've been quiet and I've been away working, I really have. I've been in a creative process. Creating an ambience is something that I've always wanted to do. And now that I have that capability of going through and creating a salon environment, it's, um, it's very self-gratifying, but it's also something that you don't want to be too selfish about. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of really cool things in my brain right now. There's a lot of things that worry the hell out of me. Um, my thing is not hitting that deadline because I've pushed it three times. So I kind of have to be in there. It just has to happen. The water is, um, on, the plumbing is done. 
all it is now is laziness if it doesn't get done. And I'm not a lazy or complacent person, so I can't be doing that. Um, somebody else asked if there was any sneak preview of the salon. There's not a sneak preview of the salon until I open. The soft open all of April is your preview because in May is when everything should be taken care of. We have to have a uh, washer and dryer hooked up. I have to get, get it hooked up in there. Um, I have to put internet in there because I'm like obviously addicted to the internet and I don't have that in there right now. Um, so it's kind of a pain in the ass because I'm away from everything and everyone. Um, and I'm by myself doing everything for the most part. So it's all one person trying to make all of this stuff happen. And it's a beautiful experience and it's a double-edged sword all at one time. But I can't wait to get back on track with a public event, um, with doing things. We have the film festival next week in the middle of me trying to finish construction, which is not convenient. Um, they're filming the movie tomorrow. Well, I'm sorry, today, and I think I'm going to have to opt out of being in the movie because I need to work on my salon. So, anyway, I can't wait because the soft open is coming. I shall take off my crazy stocking cap. Yes, I really do wear this sometimes to bed, I promise, because I actually, my ears get cold, and I like this little orange hat. And I need to go do some yoga and drink some coffee and clean my house and then go paint. So... That is my Sunday. I love you lambs to pieces. And for more, go to www.josh-cooley.com.